Hi guys, this is Daniel Alexander Cannon here, Beyond the Veil. And I wanted to show you something I'm working on. It's related, of course, to all the work that I've been doing, uh, well, for a long time, but especially recently. But specifically, it's related to 10-4. You know, the time that's on the, the uh, clock when the lightning strikes and back to the future. Yeah. Remember that? Well, I'll be ultimately putting that in here as well as one of the scenes in this. Where we're, what you're looking at is is my editor, okay? And I'm going to show you what I've got so far and uh, kind of talk about just a little bit and go from there. So let's take a look at what I've got so far here. That's Okay, that should do it. Uh, yeah, all right. Let me hit play.
right there but I'm gonna take you back here I'm gonna kind of explain a few of these things why this is why I'm putting it together like this and even this part isn't done yet I've got a lot more editing to do <coughs> but uh, yeah let me explain a few things okay of course a small amount of this is just for dramatic flair you might say the countdown thing here but where it comes into this Alice scene I mean we know that they like to tease us and they like to do it in very dramatic flary ways as well of course with these movies but there's there's truth to be had in these in these scenes let's just watch this scene here one more time When the day becomes the night. When the day becomes the night. What are we talking about? Sounds interesting to me. When the day becomes the night. Meaning, to me, it's saying to me when the sun goes down at noon. Okay? So let's keep, let's keep, uh, let's keep going here. When the day becomes the night, and the sky becomes the sea. And when the sky becomes the sea. Very cryptic and inter interesting, to me at least. Then the clock strikes heavy. The clock strikes heavy. Yeah, okay, let's keep going strikes heavy and there's no time for tea obviously there's we're talking it's symbolism for a lot of destruction right something very dramatic happens let's keep going time for tea <laughs> and of course we the white rabbit symbolism is in this, of course. All that, the whole Alice and time and the turning back of time, which is particularly of interest, and I'll explain more why here in a minute. Now the darkest hour, before my final rhyme, she will come back home to Wonderland and turn back the hand. So where, what is Wonderland? Is Wonderland supposedly the Garden of Eden? Because we know, I know, that they are wanting to go back to the Garden. They're wanting to put man and woman back together again and live forever like gods. Now, I know how ridiculously extreme, extremely ridiculous that sounds, but this is what they're doing what they're trying to do they're trying to manipulate everything and the way that they can manipulate everything or attempt to is through frequency okay for instance like well you'll hear the frequency here in just a minute an example of one way they may initiate this kind of thing of time. Time is a he. Young lady, your time is up. So young lady is referring is referring to Eve, the seed, the seed of Christ, is referring to the woman being separated from the man. Your time is up and they have to be combined again, which is what they're trying to do. This is why they took down the two towers in New York City and took them and combined them and twisted them back up into one. 
is the symbolism of, well, exactly what I'm talking about. This came on big good. The time is up. The apple falls. And of course, we're talking about 10 4. One hand's on the 4, one hand's on the 10. And here's your tone. Not only is here your tone, here is your lightning bolt, of course. The EAS uh, logo with the lightning bolt striking. And yes, I'm highly suspicious of what they're up to on the 8th. I'm highly suspicious every day, to be quite honest with you. Because we know, we all know, we just don't know what day and which thing and what's going to happen. But we certainly want to continue to look. We certainly want to continue to watch. We certainly want to expect that the enemy is going to be up to things, and they are. You see, it says, and I can't quote the verse exactly right now, but in the Bible it says that he will rise up at the voice of a bird, which is symbolized in Back to the Future in the movie as well, along with a lot of other things, including the Super Bowl this past spring. They, I did a video on that, and what did they do? They rose up on windows, gateways, that were purple, and stood up in the heavens above, well, up above the crowd, towards the heavens, symbolizing uh, deities, gods, coming down from the heavens. Yes, I'm still singing the same story. I'm still seeing the same thing. I'm still being led in the same direction. It's astounding. Time is fleeting. Mad. See, even when they made this, many things way older than this, they already know that there is a time loop that we're in. It's somewhat in the shape of an eight, you might say. If you look at the movement of the sun and moon, and there's a word for it and it's slipping my mind right now, um, but if you look at the movement of the sun and the moon, for instance, if you take a picture of the moon and of the sun, every, every day at the, or every week at the same time or even every day, but if you take continuous photos of them at the, as they move throughout the seasons, they move in the shape of an eight. And the moon and sun together create an 88. Okay? That's a fact. And <clears throat> so here we are, 80, 88, eight, right? You know anybody that's tied to the 88? I think I do. And, of course, ultimately in here, I'm going to demonstrate and show that. Madness takes its toll, but listen closely. Not for very much longer. Not for very much longer, because they know the, the date and the time that these events are going to take place. When the manipulations of the followers of Lucifer, Satan, whoever you want to call them, the evil billionaires that are running everything. Yes, and I mean all of the evil billionaires. You don't get a billion dollars and get into the billionaire club if you're not stomping on people and willing to do the bidding of the one who controls the money. I got to keep control. See, so he says, I remember doing the time warp. It has to do with this. We've been through this before. 
they've been through this before and they're angry they're red-faced they're wroth like wroth child now you know why that word name and why that family name is significant it's wroth child and I've mentioned this once or twice before but yeah they're wroth they're red in the face because they're stuck in this time loop and they want to escape it their way blackness would hit me and the void would be calling what do you think they're referring to and you think they just made up these verses just randomly and all by coincidence maybe 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 I'm just crazy or maybe I'm not Now they're going to talk about a celestial dance. Yes, like in iPad Goat, where they show, show them doing a Sufi dance, where they're spinning. That's basically what they're talking about in this part here, as they're talking about the celestial dance. It's just a jump to the left. Put your hands on your hips. But you bring your knees in tight because the knees coming in tight, what they're symboliz symboli symbolizing is when time crosses and they're using the knees coming in tight to symbolize the crossing of time. When the eight crosses itself, the loop comes around, they want to get the train, metaphorically, to jump the track. Yeah, just like in Back to the Future, the, the third back to the future they did where the train jumped the track yeah <laughs> the pelvic tr thrust that really drives you insane and then they swirl their hips in a circle they're symbolizing the spin of the heavens which being that we are in the image of the heavens and of God and that the earth and everything, the world, W-H-I-R-L-E-D, is in the image of the swirl. It's in the image of the world. It's a world. It's a torus. We live in a, a toroidal field. Uh, heaven and earth are the same but are in different dimensions. whirling it's the movement of the heavens it's the world that we live in w-h-r-l-e-d the world that we live in see this is a depiction of symbolizing heaven and the spinning and turning of the heavens There's where they're trying to jump time. Yep. This is basically the point where the birth takes place in I Pet Goat, but just like in the second and only second, because they only put out two on the Helio font channel, Helio the Sun, font the language, the language of the sun they only put out two videos they put this one out and they put out one where the man where they were, the man was walking down beside the boardwalk beside the piers 
and it gets down to the end to the Heliofont studio, which was on the right, the red building, and you have the guys in the tuxedos where they're going to graduation. And they're walking through and they point to their watch, don't they? They point to their watch and they're not even looking at it, but they're he's pointing to it. He's telling you, they're telling you that time is up. That it that it's getting ready to happen. Something big is getting ready to happen. And they keep repeating the time warp again. Let's do the time warp again. Let's do the time warp again. It has to do with the fact that these, this event, personally, I believe that the way God designed everything cyclical, going around and around and around, is that we've been through this. This is a refining factory, you might say, separating the wheat from the chaff because we can't go to the next level, to heaven, without being refined, going through this thing that we go through, this system of time. And they want to escape it. The They want to cheat. They want to rebel. They want to do it their own way and become gods. Doesn't work that way, but they're trying. And they've tried before. Babylon, think about that tower uh, in, in uh, Babylon, right? What's, what was it? Uh, my brain is not working too good. Was it not in the shape of a swirl or a whirl going up towards the heavens? They've tried it numerous ways before, and they continue to fail. And it's even documented in the Bible when they failed numerous times. But they're trying again. They're trying to go back to the garden. In another dimension, right? They're trying to jump, literally jump up, up heavens, dimensions. Where do angels exist? They exist in a higher dimension. Do they or do they not? It's the words we have to communicate the thoughts that we're trying to relay to each other. The word dimension is that word, or another dimension, or multiple dimensions, or higher heavens, okay? Before your mystic interns, world's the blue day, I see all. With a bit of a mind flip, with a bit of a mind flip. With a bit of a mind flip. And what do we see? It's getting ready to go on. Well, we wonder, don't we? Does it show it in iPad Goat? Of course it does. It shows this even with the lightning bolt. Do you think it's a coincidence? Do you believe in coincidences? Of course, you can see. Well, let's keep looking here. Okay, right there. Right? The dragon on the right coming in after the brain and a lightning bolt. And I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. You see? So, <coughs> I wanted to go through some of this with you and I'm getting ready to here let me go back to uh, full screen if I can and yeah, there we go so you can see the whole editor I'm going through and I've got a bunch of different videos here and I got a bunch more that I've got to pull in here and put together to put this whole thing together to try to show 
it and then explain it some along the way as well so I'm working on this but also I needed to ask y'all guys if you can once again it's time for me to go over to the well and peer down and see if there's still water in it you know the old saying if you go to the well too often you might come one day and it's too dry and it's dry well I try to be as careful as I possibly can with going to the well too often but I am here today to see if there's a little bit of water in the well that I can get from y'all guys in other words a little sharing of bread I've uh, with everything that I'm doing and working on and building my website the supernatural dot show hopefully y'all guys have been over there and checked that out and signed up to be a member go up in the top right hand corner and click on join and sign up and then once you sign up you can come back and pick a uh, uh, pick a plan that to whichever plan you want to be able to join the website so you have a lot more access to the website okay that's going great but it's not going great enough yet uh, to be able to sustain me because as y'all guys know I'm still currently living in a hotel and I'm working morning to night every day seven days a week I don't give myself days off um, and uh, but I just wanted to say still need your support your little bit of extra support I'm gonna put the links down below in this video and uh, upload this so y'all guys can see it on the logic before authority channel and then I'm going to continue um, with this in a episode of Beyond the Veil over on the Beyond the Veil channel that's on the website that y'all guys can subscribe to if you choose. Um, but it'll be basically recording me going through the whole putting of all this this video together. You'll get to see how I'm thinking, what I'm doing. And I try to speak my thoughts out loud when I'm doing these kind of videos and doing the editing and putting it all together. It just gives you a much deeper look into my thought processes as I put these videos together. You know, if you want to support my work and uh, you can also, instead of just sending a donation, you can go over and sign up on the website and become a member now if you haven't. It's $3.99 a month. And the Beyond the Veil Club is $10 a month, or you can just get pay a one-time fee of $89. It's an optional way you can do it, but I do need y'all guys' to support uh, in order to continue and be stable enough to do what I'm doing. I love you guys. Thank you. I'll put the links down below to all my PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, my Zelly account, all of it, my mailing address, everything. All right, guys, I'll let you go. I love you very much, and our Father in Heaven loves you too.